last time on Game Grumps. Everyone here needs therapy. <laughs> Just everyone. Yeah. Why did you lay down on this couch and tell me more? No, no, you are not qualified. <laughs> A qualified therapist. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I killed myself in another timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Makes you think about a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a roommate that can be really hard to get along with. Called depression. God, I'd say, or he don't make me look like a. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make jokes here. Just draw the bear, show it to Natsuki, and everything will be fine. <laughs> what the f is this? <laughs> <laughs> Or something? <laughs> Please help me. They're after me. Yeah. Cthulhu is harder to fight than I thought. <laughs> He's coming! <laughs> Quickly take this gun! <laughs> and with that, her confidence in the club is restored. The end. Oh, there's more. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump! And we're the game Grumps! Hey, everybody, welcome back. Good day! Um, are we on the final quest now? I don't remember. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's look at our history, shall we? We, we? I think we're close to the end of the fifth one. Uh, it's step out of your comfort zone. Gosh, you must really be determined. What was going on? The classroom is empty. This is a different day, just yes. so everyone knows. We, it's literally, I left the game on in this spot. So, okay, so it was about, oh, it was the going back and forth with Yuri and... Uh, the other one. Monica? No, the other one. Natsuki? Natsuki. They were at war because Natsuki likes manga and Yuri likes not manga. Mm. And they, <laughs> they keep, they're looking down on each other, but really they're reflecting each other. <gasps> they're projecting. They're the same kind of thing that they're doing. This is a different shot of the classroom. What do you mean? Well, usually it's from the front, but this is from behind. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I thought that yellow sponge looked, uh... Fresh and new. Maybe it's uh. <laughs> maybe <What>? maybe <laughs> it's just like, wow, <laughs> it's like four pixels on the screen. Uh, it's not. It's high def. But anyway, <laughs> the I just thought that was a strange thing to point out. It's a completely different angle. Is this a different classroom? Whatever. Oh my whoa, god! Oh, hey! We we <laughs> we ducked out right when a new picture was about to reveal itself. Incredible. Hey, you're left-handed? That's neat. Oh man, so am I. The fucking awesome, Yuri. I never knew this about you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I don't have to worry about bumping your arm. <laughs> you, no, don't. That's my nervous hair twirling arm. <laughs> yeah. Monica playfully rubs her shoulder against Yuri's. I, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just being silly, I guess. Anyway, how oh, about we start- wow. What? They actually, I was like, is she making eyes at Yuri? And it's probably just my imagination. And then they move the eyes as if to show you she was making eyes. Oh, really? Yeah. They, they, they the eyes just shifted very slightly. How do you make eyes? She already has two. Great question, Aaron. <laughs> anyway, how about we start by listing the different things you want to say to her? Hmm. Yuri thinks. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden from thinking. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I'm making eyes once again. Yeah, when her eyes move, it it, it does feel robotic, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> Locked on. <laughs> now about some of the things you said to me yesterday. But, never mind, I guess I'll try. I, are those targeting systems? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are your eyes turning red and is there a, like a dot on my forehead? It's fine. Yuri thinks for a moment longer, her tension evident. Then she writes the word, REFLECTION. This is about my reflection on our behavior. Oh, really? <laughs> the key question is why we act like this towards each other, but have been able to separately be friends with Sayori and Monica. Oh. That's me! <laughs> yes, it is. Just checking. <laughs> Just making sure my cover is still strong. <laughs> so... Yuri, thanks. I've been able to befriend the two of you because you've been taking the time to understand my needs and respect my interests. Oh. Mm. The same goes for Natsuki, too. 
the sequel to Natsuki. <laughs> we started off as pretty hostile to each other. And Natsukening. <laughs> the uh, Natsuki Boogaloo. <laughs> the Natsukaloo. <laughs> Electric Natsukaloo. <laughs> we started off pretty hostile to each other because I was so, 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 so worried about getting what I wanted. But she just wanted to be respected more than anything else. Once I stopped making it all about me, she was able to do the same. <gasps> I want to do that too. <laughs> now you're the one making eyes. So what kinds of things do you want to do for her? I feel like if something, like an object was placed in between their stairs, it would just light on fire and explode. <laughs> I want, I want to do the same things for her that I like to receive. It's very considerate. <laughs> I like when people respond positively to the things I talk about and not just brush me off. Oh, uh, cool, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when my feelings are taken seriously. Monica's over, like, pulling cans out of a fridge. <laughs> yeah. What? Mm hmm Yeah. And I like when you would say, Ori, trust that I want to be a good person, even when I'm not doing a good job at it. Let's write these things down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I'll never remember them. Yuri writes down some things. Writes some things down. <laughs> I think the most important thing to remember- Write down all the things! <laughs> <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> I think the most important thing to remember here is that Nitsuki is feeling vulnerable. <laughs> so we should make sure that the letter puts her first. It's hard when you're feeling hurt, but it never helps- But it never helps to just tell someone all the things that they're doing wrong. I know you want to. Stop writing that. List out things she is doing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think first you have to make sure that they know that they're ready to- You're ready to respect them and listen to them and admit the things that you feel you could do better. Then finally, you ask what you would like in return. Apples! Oh, okay, write apples. <laughs> How does that sound for the structure? It could be three paragraphs, one for each of those points. I like that. I like it! <laughs> My thoughts were so disorganized, I had no idea how to come up with any kind of structure. You're so amazing at these things. Tell me again. Oh, stop. You've done so much more than I have, you know? You spent so much time reflecting and being open-minded. That's the hardest par thing for anyone to do. All I'm doing is helping you put it on a piece of paper. Sharing lice. <laughs> Sharing lice. <Yeah. laughs> like, wee, yippee! Like jumping back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, purple hair! Wah! <laughs> so I think you're the amazing one. Mm. Monica gives Yuri's hand a quick squeeze. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was too hard. But as she lets go, I forget you're so fragile. Those human creatures. Ah. <laughs> but as she lets go, as she lets go, she's caught by surprise when Yuri curls her fingers to hook Monica's hand in place. <gasps> For a while, they sit like that, in silence, save for the occasional scratching of Yuri's pen against the paper. Yesterday, you told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. What was that? You said you were shutting down? <laughs> 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 the thing about how feelings aren't right or wrong, and that they're just a state of being we need to come to terms with. Oh, well, yeah, I said that. It made me think about how a person's behavior isn't always just how they decide to be. Right. <laughs> it also made up- it's also made up of their past experiences and their insecurities. Well, that is true. <laughs> I said all that. I think I think that helps me see other people as actual people, rather than as insignificant side characters who are out to get me somehow. Is that how you felt about Natsuki? What, that insignificant side character? Fuck her! <laughs> <laughs> Yuri nods. <laughs> But, in reality, everyone is always trying their best, and everyone wants to be happy. Not everyone. Monica peers uh, over at Yuri's paper, but to her <laughs> They look so happy now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are, aren't we? Mm. But to her surprise, Yuri pulls it in closer, partially covering it with her arm. Don't copy my homework! <laughs> ah, I have to be able to read it to help out, you know. It's okay. My thoughts are a lot more organized now, after being able to talk to you about it. Now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I realize I'd really prefer others not to read it. Including you. <laughs> Ow! Uh. It's transforming. <laughs> Combat mode. Yeah, like ju just a giant tank with a Monica head on the end of it. Oh god! Yuri laughs softly to herself, a rare expression. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear that, actually. I somehow keep finding ways to butt into this whole thing. I've done enough damage. Da 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 da. Butt into. But it's also. <laughs> but. <laughs> butt into. But it's also been so wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, but. Yuri smiles. 
You're not. <laughs> oh, I will always be terrible at these things. People are just so incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being one. <laughs> me, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me too. Whichever one makes me seem more human. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but listening to you so much has really helped me make sense of some things. You just told her that. So just don't call it damage, please. What? Monica gives Yuri a gentle smile. Take it. Preparing to inflict damage. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy geeks and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> Real friends who value me. Make me look like a pineapple. <laughs> is that a joke? Of course it is. <laughs> you have to be some kind of weird synthetic life form not to get that. No, uh, you were so right. I still can't tell with you. Sorry. No, I love it. Please never change. As you wish. Stop. <laughs> Yuri glances at the clock. We're almost out of time. Time is a construct. Will you be able to finish? Before the end of the day, probably. But I don't want to come to the club the same day that Natsuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you'd like. Hush, hush, I'd why. <laughs> I fucking turned those off. Why are they still showing up? I don't know. God damn it. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course. I promise. Thank you. Yuri exhales and the two stand up. Two stand up. Two, two stand, stand up. up. I'll message you when it's ready. Monica nods. Good luck. I'm here if you need me. In this classroom that well, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Yuri returns a nod and the two depart. I'm in Goofy 3C. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Is that it? That's it. That's reflection. Wait. Now it's time for self love. But that was that wasn't a conclusion. Yeah, it was. The, she had a, a like a personal breakthrough. Oh, I guess this final one is them where all the killing starts. I hope so. Mm, I'm starting to think it might not happen. <laughs> you know, I'm hoping. <laughs> it's like when you hang out with someone for a week, and like by day seven, you're like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to get the chance to kill them. <laughs> Do I want to like continue this facade or just Yeah, it's just it's just a bummer. It's what I call an awkward Saturday night. Be like this isn't working. <laughs> it's only been one day since Yuri's letter was delivered to Natsuki with Monica's help. Because Yuri chose not to attend the club meeting that day, she and Natsuki haven't faced each other since. Although it's only lunchtime, Yuri finds herself anxiously counting the hours until she will need to face the outcome of her efforts, whether good or bad. And because the passing by of students was making her feel even more anxious, Yuri picked out the most secluded spot she could find to spend her lunch. The graveyard. <laughs> Where all the previous students who have been murdered here. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody left. Yeah. Except for those two shadow people. Oh yeah. Because this staircase is under maintenance, no student would have any reason for coming here. It's such a relaxing feeling to have a moment of solitude in the middle of a frantic school day. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Eep! What are you doing here? I don't know. Get out of here with your one tooth. <laughs> it's gonna rot if you use the snack machine. Yeah, and keep... sorry, I was just getting some Coca Cola. <laughs> just washing some Gatorade over this single tooth. Yeah. I was gonna swish it around in my mouth for a while. Um, uh, I just. Yuri grips her book with enough force to wrinkle the pages beneath the pressure of her thumbs. Well, what are you doing here? I just came to get a drink for the vending machine, you freak! I knew it. The other one is out of the drink I like. Piss. <laughs> <laughs> D4. Piss. <laughs> <laughs> it's the warm piss, damn it! Yuri notices Natsuki fidgeting with a few coins between her fingers. She nods, avoiding eye contact. Natsuki, also looking away, shuffles over to the vending machine. If you want later, you could come to my house. I got a mini fridge you could put the piss in. <gasps> really? <laughs> so they get, that's what they make a connection over. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. That's where I keep all my piss. <gasps> you did piss too? <laughs> it's so quiet that every one of her movements seems to reverberate through the entire stairwell. That bake sale sign, I keep thinking it says bail sale. And I'm like, what the fuck is bail? A <laughs> bail sale? Yeah. It's like, it's like Doki Doki Horse Club. <laughs> 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 So many bales around here. <laughs> After far too long, she finally receives her beverage, which she then fidgets with in place of the coins, in spite of the third. Yeah. <laughs> it's some kind of iced tea. 
But instead of leaving right away, Natsuki just stands in place. She glances all around her. It's like way too quiet back here. It's creepy. I mean, that's, that's not what I meant, really. I mean, it's totally cool that it's your thing or whatever. Like, I can see how it suits you, so... Because you're creepy? Not because I think you're creepy or something. I didn't mean that either. You know, I'm just going to stop talking. That yeah. seems like a good idea. Because, I mean, you're creepy and you could do anything. <laughs> it's okay. Everything is okay. Yuri finds herself attempting some words of comfort after, um, comfort after hearing Natsuki stammer herself into dejection. Seemingly in response, Natsuki approaches the base of the staircase and hesitantly sits herself down near Yuri. Well, I can leave if you want. Yuri shakes her head. Natsuki twists the cap off her drink and takes a sip. The end. I know, that was a weird pause. Despite receiving Yuri's general permission, Natsuki doesn't say anything more. Don't leave me hanging! <laughs> I'm waiting with bated breath! <laughs> Does she take a sip? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yuri continues to read, or at least pretends to. So does she read or pretend to? Yeah, I mean, you can tell me you're the narrator. And the two just sit there for a long time. The tension seems to fade a little bit as time passes. Even without any words, this seems to mean at least something, though it's not clear what that may be. One of them farts. <laughs> Lunch ends more quickly than expected, on account of the stench. <laughs> Natsuki is the first to stand up with her empty drink bottle. I gotta piss. Are you coming today? To the club. Yuri nods. Bottle full of bub. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so awkward. I'm really bad at talking about this stuff. I just can't for some reason. I don't know why, but I want to. Eventually. There's no rush. I promise. <laughs> but that's my favorite thing. I band. mean, what are you even talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> it's the next day. They're still sitting there. <laughs> Natsuki appears from around the corner and steps up to the vending machine, glancing at Yuri as she does so. Are you still fucking here? <laughs> Today she seems to be holding some kind of book as well. Oh, you're here again. Well, I just came here to read this. Uh, because you aren't- there aren't any people around here. The book is drinking piss for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you didn't like how quiet it was. Well, I don't, but there's no people here. I see. So you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, but it's really quiet. Natsuki sits <laughs> down. The mood feels much more different today than it did yesterday. Worse. <laughs> After yesterday's lunch and the club meeting that followed, Natsuki and Yuri are beginning to feel more relaxed around each other again. They both let out a fart. <laughs> Although Yuri's letter is still lingering in the back of Natsuki's mind. Lingering is a terrible word to <laughs> like, choose. Like the stench in the air. So stale. She continues to detour around it. But it's okay that I'm here? Oh my fucking god, what did I say about nobody being here? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I mostly just don't feel like dealing with the crap I get from my friends about it. Especially since, like, they all just assumed I started reading manga after I joined the literature club. Not that I'm trying to hide it from them exactly, but I am. But I just don't want it to come up again now, after I've waited so long for this new volume to come out. Literally months at this point! You... Did. <laughs> Seem to have a lot of very serious problems. <laughs> yeah. You don't have other friends who are into manga? Not unless online friends count, which is a lot, <laughs> and Sayori, but that's different because she's not exactly into it, she just likes it, you know what I mean? <laughs> no. Mm. I don't. Mm. I just like her face with that. <laughs> mm. y Yuri? <laughs> you okay? Mm. Honestly, you're lucky that the books you're into at least just look like books, mm. so you don't have to feel like everyone is constantly judging you by what you're reading. Mm. She like has a porno mag with manga hidden inside of it. <laughs> that would be so awful. Especially since I already hate attention so much. Well, it's a good thing I have thick skin, I guess. Feel it. It's like a rock. Wow. That is thick. Yeah. Skin, take, skin allergen got me quaking. <laughs> I, got, I take a cheese grater to my arm every night. <laughs> By the way, I would totally recommend finding some friends online if you haven't already. If you're like me and have no one to share your hobbies with. Oh. 
I have online friends. Since middle school, actually. I was especially desperate back then. Which is what people do to be, when they go online, they're desperate. It's somewhat embarrassing to reminisce about those days. I had human eyes and I stabbed myself. It was... <laughs> ugh, whatever. Sometimes I feel like the me from a few years ago would have benefited from a good smack across the face. Oh, whatever! We were all just stupid kids back then anyway! Do it, smack me! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry? Some of the fanfics I wrote? Thank God I used a pseudonym, Natsuki215. <laughs> but I don't think I'm from Philadelphia. <laughs> With that area code. But I liked it at the time. I got a lot of fulfillment out of it. And plus, I can look back and say with confidence that those were like way horny. <laughs> so I don't think I would change anything. I wonder if a few years from now we'll think the same thing about our current selves. No! Yes, trust me. As someone who's had everything he said recorded for the last eight years, <laughs> yes, you will have that yeah. feeling. Ah, probably. That doesn't make you uncomfortable? Of course it does! No, of course not! I don't care what other people think of me, especially someone who doesn't even exist anymore, and especially not you! Wait, who doesn't exist yet, not anymore. Yet. That would mean you killed them. Well, <laughs> you don't know that. All right, here. Natsuki raises her hand to her face and forcefully slaps her own cheek. Now you try. <laughs> That's me for the future, coming to terms with me right now. Also, ow, I didn't mean to do it that hard. You're well, you from the future is crazy. <laughs> yeah, Yuri doesn't seem to react. And violent. <laughs> but then to Natsuki's surprise, Yuri shyly looks the other way before lifting her arm and doing the same thing to herself, loudly smacking her cheek. Is this supposed to be a sweet moment? <laughs> yeah. She turns red and stares into her lap, but is unable to hide a smile as though it was a really funny joke. Or perhaps she just gave herself a concussion. <laughs> she smells burning toast. <laughs> oh, now that's what I'm talking about! I didn't know you had it in you! Uh, I, I don't... I don't even know why I just did that. The wound is starting to smell like almonds. <laughs> what? I don't know, that's from Austin Powers too. <laughs> Maybe I thought it would be funny. Sorry, I keep distracting you from your piss. <laughs> you said you were looking forward to reading, but I keep going on about all this nonsense. Do you want some of this piss? <laughs> I'll let you get to your reading. Oh. The label. Right. Of the piss. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll do that then. The conversation ends quickly and Natsuki opens her book. <laughs> she walks into the couch jumps over the moon. <laughs> the two silently read silently for the remainder of the lunch hour. But the whole time, Yuri feels distracted by a twist of regret over having so abruptly forced the end of their conversation. She quickly retreats to the young adult vampire romance section of her local Barnes & Noble. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here to lay low again. Another day has passed. Natsuki's pencil neck is pencilier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's getting a little heavy today. It's like a little bobblehead doll. <laughs> During why don't you flick my forehead? Yeah, when she slapped herself, yeah. was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me try. <laughs> During lunchtime, Natsuki finds herself having wandered to the stairwell once more. Hey, did you buy that? Natsuki quickly notices a bottle of iced pee on the staircase <laughs> where she normally sits. Yuri nods, avoiding eye contact. What, well, like for me? But you didn't know I was coming here today. What if I didn't show up? Well. I just, I mean, I would have drank the piss myself, I guess. <laughs> you drank piss? It, it was a stupid thing to do. No, it, it wasn't. No, it wasn't stupid. You just being nice was stupid. I just thought, shut up. Never mind. What I mean to say is thank you. And that's a really, that it's a really nice gesture or whatever. It's, it's okay if you don't feel that way. Jesus Christ. Just take the fucking, I swear to God, I do. It was the other things that I didn't mean. Like, I swear, please believe me. Hmm. I wish I could. <laughs> like, just weirdly, like, judgmental. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yuri pauses the nods. Talking. <laughs> is hard. <laughs> I get it wrong a lot, too. So I believe you. <laughs> Natsuki exhales in relief. Then she sits down next to Yuri and takes the drink. Mmm, salty! <laughs> Knowing Yuri, she was probably overthinking it so much that Natsuki's tepid response filled her with self-doubt. This guy eats a lot of corn! <laughs> <laughs> I can 
can tell. <laughs> I'll do something nice for you next time. Please don't feel obligated. I want to feel obligated, that is. I want to do nice things, too. Okay. Thank you. Then it's settled. You can thank me after I figure out how to do something nice. I'll do it then, too. Natsuki sighs. <laughs> Are we having a conversation? Yeah, I don't yeah. understand. Nothing. Should we be looking at each other? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you look at me? <laughs> it just reminds me how I haven't been getting along with my friends lately, like Yuri. Who are your friends? Yeah. Is that why you've been coming here? Well, no. Not exactly. Shut up! I haven't been avoiding them on purpose or anything. They're just... Other things I'd rather be doing during lunch lately, like avoiding them. <laughs> and thickening my neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Is it working? No. I like <laughs> Shit! I like being around them when we're all just having fun, but they also just can't take anything seriously. So when I'm, I don't know, feeling serious, then their attitudes just really get on my nerves. It's only gotten worse ever since I joined the literature club. How come? Because the literature club's stupid. Oh, neat. I don't know. I feel like I used to be really good with just putting up with it because it would be so stupid to cause drama over a joke I didn't like or something. But I just have a hard time doing that lately. But it's my fault for being overly sensitive. If I have a problem, I'm not going to demand for everyone to get around me to change. But... Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I should kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. You really helped me through this. But what? Monica and Sayori don't really don't agree with that kind of thing. But they're not in my position, so it's easy for them to say that you should just communicate your feelings or whatever. I don't know. It's not like my friend group does that kind of thing. I would just be making an embarrassment of myself. Like I am now. By babbling on. <laughs> Sorry, none of this has anything to do with you. I don't know why I'm talking about it. I'm just gonna drink my pee. It's okay. I like pee. <laughs> listening. What? Listening to other people's problems? No. You should have stopped at listening at other people's <laughs> pee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah! That's weird. Fred. Sorry. Ding. I just like learning about people. I missed a bunch of dings. Uh, yeah. Do you think it's weird? Yes. I mean, no, it's this not weird. This is probably the weirdest conversation I've ever I witnessed. Is this uh, going anywhere? <laughs> I probably just misunderstood, too. I don't know. Does that mean I should keep going? Yes, please. If you'd like. For hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't stop now. We were just getting warmed up. Well, I don't know what to talk about now. Clearly. <laughs> what are some things that you like about your friends? Um, I like that none of them have purple hair. <laughs> A lot of things. I mean, they're really fun to hang out with, like after school, and on the weekends, and every other day, and they really like my baking, and it's fun to complain about school together. Their wrists don't curl strangely up in an atrophied manner. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not taller than me, have purple eyes. They make me laugh a lot, and we have a lot of good memories and inside jokes. Oh, I'm bad at a lot of those things. Well, then I guess we can't be friends, so... Are those all the things that are important to you? Obviously. <laughs> well, <laughs> these are all of my favorite things. Yeah. I made a list of things that you have to be to be my friend, and here they are. And none of them are things that you do, so bye. <laughs> well, kind of, but they're not things I need to get out of everybody. Everybody in the club is really different from that, but I'm still friends with them too. Well, Sayori really likes your baking. She does? And she makes you laugh. No, she doesn't. And she complains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we can all agree on that. Sayori? <laughs> <laughs> I was here the whole time. <laughs> I was drinking piss coffee in the corner. <laughs> you drink piss too? That's not going to change anything now. <laughs> that doesn't mean she's anything like my other friends. Well, unlike them, she's a nice person who cares about your feelings. Excuse me? What about you? How about How you? How about you don't talk that way about my friends that you don't know anything about? Natsuki stands up. No, wait. I'm sorry, Dig. I didn't mean it. I didn't want to say something bad. Please don't leave. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> He's playing Splatoon 2. Natsuki. Sa Natsuki sighs and shakes her head. It's fine. As long as you understand that you can't just judge people like that. 
Well, clearly you don't with your wild mood swings and such. I know. I'm sorry, dang. Natsuki sits back down. You can't just compare friends like that and, like, measure who's better than who. That makes you a worse friend than my other friends. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's different. Everyone's different. I'm sorry. Ding. Jesus. I just... Fred, I just don't like people who want to hurt you. A moment of silence stretches between them, finally. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to hurt me. They just, you know, like, punching and kicking and pushing me over. And stepping on me. We just like to tease each other about stupid things. It's fun. I don't like that. Well, I didn't ask you. Well, that's why I'm friends with them and you're not. You like it? Mm -hmm. Just don't worry so much about me, okay? It's not worth it. I'm sorry. Stop. <laughs> Stop saying I'm sorry. I wish I knew how to help with social conflicts. Like how Monica can. Kind of. With her cold. <laughs> Almost non-human-like detachment. <laughs> She's good at these things. Not really. Also, I don't always want to help. I want help. Sometimes it's just stuff I have to deal with myself. That's what Monica and Sayori never seem to understand. It's like sometimes I want to drink piss and sometimes I don't. Yeah. It's like just let me do it on my own time. Yeah. Sometimes all you do is look at them wrong and they're all like, Oh, what's wrong? Is everything okay? And it's like, no, I just haven't had my daily piss. <laughs> like all the time, which is when I love it. Yeah, it's like, don't talk to me until I've had my piss. I just want to run my own business sometimes and decide myself if I want to talk about things. Talk about rings. Did you say pissness? Pissness. <laughs> Not even pissness. I only want, that the only one who understands that it's you. So you really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You're not... As bad as you think. <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, you don't need to reassure me or anything. I mean that. Plus, it makes sense that someone who can't talk a lot would make a good listener. Ah! Green tooth. <laughs> Thank you. You're also nice. What? Can we touch heads? <laughs> yeah. Can you turn around, finally? It's really hard for me. This my skin, it's just getting a little too hard. <laughs> it doesn't come naturally at all. It's so weird because I always thought of myself as someone who can just say whatever's on my mind. But I feel like that only works when I'm annoyed, or upset, or I want to say something mean, or when I want to talk, or when something's on my mind. Why am I like that? <laughs> you don't have to answer that, I'm just talking to myself. I can answer it. Yuri nods and remains silent. Natsuki notices her fidgeting with the pages of her book. How come you like reading so much? It's like so stupid! <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> well, a lot of reasons, but I just get sucked into it so easily. Uh, here I go again! Uh, <gasps> who's a reading rainbow? No! <laughs> Should have known as soon as I saw that butterfly in the sky. Uh, shall we next time on Game Grumps? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. She's flying twice as high! <laughs> I guess we might finish this next time on Game Rooms. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, I, I, let's do that. All right. Okay. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. I don't know why I said it so aggressively. It's okay. <laughs> Goodbye. You were taking a look. It was in a book.